Hull City New Strait, with our Daily Tigers, Hull City head coach Liam Rosinia admits that the 4-4 draw at Sunderland on Good Friday was one of the most enjoyable games ever played. City boss also reveals that Black Cats boss Tony Mowbray came and talked to him while Ozan Tufan was preparing to take his 98th minute penalty at the Stadium of Light. Mowbray's message to Rosinia that City team didn't deserve to be on wrong side of 4-3 scoreline before Ozan was knocked down on point kick after Regan Slater knocked down inside box. Read only 15 seconds left how Hull City snatched the sensational Sunderland draw a quivering rivalry swung back and forth in the midst of Rosinia's team start at the raid as Tufan fired City early. The game then went into a crazy four minutes later would score in an end to make the score 2-0 and 30 seconds later Joe Gelhart equalized within a minute it was 2-1 when Amat surrendered. Three minutes later, Alahaya Sayadmanesh intervened to make score 2-2 and Slater scored a goal early in the second half, putting City back in lead. Referee Keith Stroud gave Sunderland a soft penalty after arguing that Alfie Jones fouled Jack Clark and Ahmad narrowly beat Carl Darlow from the penalty spot. It would be drama to until Slater was fouled and Bard hit the equaliser from the bottom corner to finish a game that few would hastily forget. This is one of the most enjoyable games I've been a part of, Rosinia said. Tony gave such a classy performance that he said, you don't deserve to lose the game right before we took the penalty. I hope we will be happy with three points from now on. I knew they had to win, and I thought we could hurt them in the transition period and they hurt us too. It was two teams that wanted to win the game. This was City's 11th draw under Rosinia, but by far the most fascinating and entertaining game of the season so far. The fans wanted a goal, I wanted a goal, but not on the other side. I keep saying it's a process. I shouldn't agree with every single person who says that this group isn't improving or developing individually. Part of coaching is developing your players, and they're showing that to me a lot right now.